pasta bake that everyone's been making. I'm um, following a recipe that I found on the blog Field of Foodie. Um, it looks pretty delicious, so finger cross it tastes as good. Alright, so the first step is to turn your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and onto fan bake. Then grab yourselves a dish, um, whatever size you like. We didn't really have lots of options, so this is the best one that's going to work for me. Um, tip your tomatoes in there. I use two punnets, that's what the recipe calls for. Oh yeah, zoom up on one little code. Then grab your olive oil. Mine's the cheap version. This is what it is. Just whack a bit on there. I don't know what the recipe says, but I kind of just do about two tablespoons. Grab your cute little salt, sprinkle some on there. Probably about one teaspoon. Then grab your pepper and try to grind it whilst following the camera. I would not recommend. Um, give that a little stir with your spoon or your fingers if, if that's what you're up for. Get amongst that feta. Um, use whatever feta you like. This is kind of like um, some mix between the cheapest and best one I could find. Um, rub it around in the mixture that you have on the bottom of the pan so it's coated on both sides. Zoom in real close. See how beautiful she is looking. Um, if I had a bigger pan, I probably would have used a slightly bigger pan so that the tomatoes were not so crowded, but I'd rather have them more crowded than more spread out because I wanted them to be juicier rather than dry. Uh, check that bad boy in the oven once your oven is at temperature. Um, and just leave her in there to chill. I can't remember how long this was for. I think it was about 40 minutes. Um, once your tomatoes are almost done baking, chuck your pasta on. I usually boil the water in the kettle before I put it on the stove just to save time. Um, use whatever element works for you, something that's going to boil but not overflow. Leave that to boil. Pour your pasta in. I'm using penne because that's what I felt like. You can, even, you can use whatever you want. I probably wouldn't recommend spaghetti but go for it if you like. Um, any kind of pasta that's going to really absorb the juice and hold the juice is going to be nice which is why I chose penne. Grab two cloves of garlic and then chop them up into small pieces. Um, if you have a garlic crusher, this will work. We don't, so here's a little aesthetic shot of me dicing the garlic into small pieces. Damn. All right, next up, grab your dried herbs. I wish we had sweet basil, but our plants are still growing, so we don't yet. Um, if you have the option to use fresh basil, I would recommend doing so, I think that would add a nice touch, but if you don't or you can't afford it, just grab the dried ones, um, they're still pretty delicious. Alright, grab that bad boy out of the oven, looking pretty beautiful, um, if you could leave it for a bit longer if you wanted, but I think that was pretty done, it's nice to have a little bit of charredness, but not too much. Um, I would say like go by the time that the recipe says, but also just keep checking it and you can probably tell with your eyes once it's done. Sprinkle a bit of herbs on. I didn't really measure these. I don't really measure anything. I just kind of like chuck it in and, and see what it looks like. Give that a stir. This didn't look quite as delicious as I had hoped, but still kind of, kind of satisfying. Oh, and don't forget to taste your pasta and make sure it's done. If it's spaghetti, throw it against a wall, but you know, you don't want to make a mess, so just keep tasting it, make sure it's, you probably want it to be like a little bit al dente, but however you prefer. Um, drain that pasta, whack it in the pan, mix it all together, again looking much less aesthetic than I had hoped, but still is pretty delicious. Oh yeah, close up shot. And then serve up as much as you like. Um, we definitely ate all of this pasta, even though I didn't serve all of it up on the plates. Oh yeah. Yum. Yum. Stop. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. And when the basil plants grow, you can put some basil on there.
Mm, that's what I was gonna say. She's just like the one thing that sucks to miss is like um, actual basil. Yeah. How much out of ten? I mean, it's super flavorful. I give it a probably like a nine. Yeah. That's pretty good. Mm. Behind the scenes. <laughs> this is our kitchen. Very cute with the fairy lights. Oh shit, it's actually coffee and biscuits. Okay, we do. Coffee and bickies. 